Hi, today we are going to discuss about placeholder view of a component. What is placeholder view of a component? So whenever we drag and drop any of the core component, let me add one core component, text component. So if you see, we do have a gray box with the text written on it. This means text is my component name and this gray box is appearing in the authoring part until unless I don't author this particular component. The time I will author this particular component, let me add some text, then the actual UI view will be appearing for this component and the same implementation we are going to do for our custom component. So I'm creating a custom component here. I have added only two lines of text. As part of the CQ dialog, uh, let me go to the CQ dialog. I've added few fields, but we'll focus on the top two field only, title and description, okay? Uh, let me push this particular component, export, okay? Now let's add our component. Our component is card component. I've added, it didn't appear. But if I go to the tree, right, our content tree, our card component is added. It is just not visible as what we are expecting. It is there. It is there in the in our page. Okay. If I author, right? If I author, let's assume. If I author, it is appearing. But if I remove my content from the authoring part, right? It doesn't show. That's where we have to improve the authoring experience by adding the placeholder view of a component. And how can we do it? In your component, you have to add a template here the template i have written let me enable this template fully so this is a template provided by the aem itself you can uh, follow you, you can go to the lib and you will get this particular template once you call this particular template you have to pro enable the template dot placeholder to enable the placeholder view and you have to provide a boolean condition when the placeholder view will be enabled or disabled based on that you have to give a boolean condition you can provide a class as well so in the placeholder view there will be a class whatever the class you are going to pass here the same class will be appearing at, on top of the placeholder view and you can provide a empty text append so whatever the value you are going to provide that is coming on top of that particular placeholder view okay now i have enabled this let me export it let's reload our page and let's see how does it appear you see card component and it comes with a gray box as well if i author my component then it comes with whatever the view we wanted or the end user experience we have implemented. But if I remove my comp field, then it comes with a gray box. That is the placeholder view. So as part of the placeholder view, we can see the text you see author, whatever we have passed here. So to make it a change, let me uh, change to something called uh, preview. And I will export it, reload it, preview. Okay. Now the class also we will check. So we have given something called CMP card. I'll control F here, CMP card. If you see, there is only one attempt. And when I hover on this particular component, the class also getting appended. Okay, so in this way, we can provide a, we can enable the placeholder view of our component. Remember, I have given here a Boolean condition also. This exist is actually a Boolean condition for whether my title property is provided or not. Okay, so yeah, this way you can enable and disable a placeholder view of a custom component. With this, we are coming to end of this video. Thank you.